Forget about free in Palestine. Finally, near Britain is free of this horrible, toxic, terrorist loving club. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Football. And near Britain has spoken it against Palestine. He's spoken it against Celtic. And the only thing I can think of is why the hell didn't he do this a lot sooner? Yep, that is all. I mean, I've always just fought with Celtic fan this really player, whether it be a badder. Or Bitten, I guess we have bad he still currently plays, but we Bitten, like, how's no one, what do they feel when they see those flags in the corner? Well, finally today, on the 7th of uh, uh, October 2023, we get our answer. Yeah, this is what Near Bitten feels. He posted it to Instagram, and it's a, it's a pretty lengthy statement, and he didn't hold back. And I like to see it, because this guy played at Celtic, and I'm, I'm sure he's, he's seen a lot of this over the years. Finally, he's decided to speak out. He says, quote, shame on you. Yes, free Gaza from Hamas, not from Israel. Supporting terror organisations who's proudly celebrating the slaughtering of families is absolutely crazy. Embarrassing. Most of you don't even know where Israel is. You have zero clue about this conflict and you still act like you know everything. As a father for free kids, I want to see how you react when your innocent kids getting slaughtered and kidnapped in front of your eyes. And please don't tell me this is what Israel do to the Palestinians because this is far from being true. Stop being brainwashed and biased and educate yourself with the facts. And I completely 100% agree with Near Bitten here, despite the fact that he is getting dogs abuse, he's getting lots of death threats, even his wife, there's been screenshots of his wife getting messaged on Instagram, um, people sending her death threats, calling her all sorts of nasty names, simply because this guy has spoken out. And, and he's completely correct. Is, are Israel not allowed to defend themselves? It's the same shite that say things about all cops are bad. I mean, please don't go running about killing black people. Black people put themselves in those situations. And it's the same with Palestine. If Palestine people are going to attack Israel and if they're going to start murdering innocent people on the streets, are, are Israel not supposed to fight back? Are Israel supposed to just sit there and accept it? Fucking hell no. So... I respect Near Bitten for coming out and saying this. The only thing I don't understand, the only thing I maybe don't respect is, why did he say, stay at Celtic for so long? Why was he there for so long when the club's position has not changed? The club has always been free Palestine. The club has always been pro-Palestine. And any time we've seen Palestine commit horrendous attacks on the innocent people of Israel, they've all Celtic fans, the Green Brigade, they've always celebrated it. Yet this guy has remained at the club. For me, I'd have a lot more respect for him if he, the first time he was there and the first time he witnessed this, if he put a transfer request in straight away and moved. I would have respected that a lot more for near bitten, but he, he's waited until now, I guess, till he's left the club. Maybe he feels now he's safe, he's out of Scotland, uh, his family's out of Scotland and he no longer has to deal with any consequences, perhaps. And that's fair enough, but he did stay at Celtic for like nine years and that's eight and a half too long. That is eight and a half too long, and you look at it, the whole situation, it goes past football, it does delve into politics, where a lot of people comment earlier on the match with few Celtic against Kelly, they do not want to involve us here. I wish in an ideal world this didn't have to get involved, but it has to get involved. It's every single game, Celtic at home, the green, I mean, even away, it is supporting these fucking murderers, terrorist bastards, it is, that's just the way it is, and even, even the first minister of Scotland, even they get more political, didn't even fucking condemn it, did they? Do you, you see his tweet? No, what did he say? Just said, oh, it's awful to see what's happening from, like, both sides. We've got Nash, we've got um, Scottish Nationals over there. Fucking card, man. Well, of course, he's going to fucking support it, isn't he? Honestly, it, it's, it just... It is, at least, I mean, we did get Celtic fans commenting earlier that it is a disgrace and, you know, they're not for it. And I think... I think if you're, you know... But see, the Celtic fans that are against this and the, the Celtic board themselves, they need to step up. They could remove these signs. Easily. There should... The Stuarts there, the, the people in charge of the club, maybe the fans can't really police themselves. I get that because, I mean, that could lead to massive brawls in the stand and whatnot. But the club itself... For the club not to put a stop to this, they're glorifying the fact that Palestinians are just killing innocent Israelis on the streets. The Celtic fans, the Green Brigade here, are celebrating this and the club's doing nothing about it. This is shady as fuck. No, it is shady as fuck. 
And uh, there's no excuse for... I mean, it happens every week. They would have knew, especially with this coming out this morning, that there was going to be a demonstration of some sort from the Green Brigade in that corner. They, 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 you cannot tell me they did not think this was going to be coming. We knew it. Everyone on Twitter knew but, it. But Near Bittens, he is he's completely correct here, man. They're, they're all brainwashed. They, they, they are... They're all brain. They're all mainstream media brainwashed. That that's exactly what it is. Here, he, he's hit the nail on the head. They don't. Have, they don't have a clue what's happening. If you ask the average Celtic fan that's pro Palestine, what, what's going on? I think they just fucking Scooby Snack. I think for some reason that they've drawn up bizarre, uh, like correlations between Palestine and the troubles. Yeah, what, what, but... and and they think that both situations are similar when they're, they're not really. No, no. Yeah, and if you do want to draw the similarities, I mean, <laughs> Palestine are a lot closer to the IRA, aka you know, killing innocent people on the streets. So, I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, blowing people up, man. Is but look at the club, man. Look at the Green Brigade. Look at them. A fucking no tricolours, Palestine flags. Uh, not a Scottish flag in sight. Yeah, not that's what it, it always. It's funny though. They always, but then people say, don't make, don't, oh, don't talk about the fuck. Who's making it about politics? It's these people here. I mean, how the fuck can they think on a day where you've seen that you've seen Palestinians with, with, with the, the, a dead female body and they're spitting on the carcass and they're driving the boots celebrating with this in the back of their fan and, and they think it's a good idea to be flying these banners? And this doesn't matter what side of the political spectrum you're on. There's people in Israel, literally on the highway, getting mowed down. Families getting killed left, right and centre. And these sick fucks are out here with their Palestinian flags and fucking banners, man. Celebrating the deaths of families. Innocents. You know, if, if you've got a beef, if you support Palestine, you've got a beef with the, the Israeli, like, military forces or whatever. Uh, but there's actual innocents. They've got fuck all the day with Getting killed. It's a fucking joke. And here they are. You know, uh, like, and you know what? There's nobody on YouTube. There's nobody in the media. No one fucking calls out Celtic for this. You know what I mean? No. I mean, obviously, if you're a Celtic fan like Specky Twat One One Eight, he'll fucking love this, but he'll never talk about it. He'll love it though, right? See, Super Scoreboard, they're not going to fucking mention it. Sky Sports ain't going to mention it. BBC Scotland ain't going to mention it. They're all fucking afraid. They are all fucking. Wait, how's this not? How's that not getting mentioned here? And see, if Celtic fans go, oh, but what about the Rangers fans that carried the Nazi banner? I'm like, oh fuck, I'll condemn that. Fuck the Nazis. Fuck them. They should all be expelled. I mean, I'm not going to say, oh, because three Rangers fans brought in a fucking banner, bow down to them. Fuck them all. Nazis, Hamas, whatever. It's a joke, isn't it? Aye. And it needs to be condemned. You know, and it, it, it does. And, and nothing ever gets said. And I, it's not every Celtic fan, right? And they all, we'll be Rangers. And it's not going to be every Rangers fan. It's not going to be whatever other fucking club in the world supports these things. It's never, ever going to be every single fan. But every single week, it is the same group of the Green Brigade with these banners. And it's a joke. And if you're not aware of this, get your head out the sand. Go on fucking social media, Twitter, whatever, and you will see what's happening over there. It's how disgusting. can how can Leila Barra stay at this club? Ah, well, I know. I, it's 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 disgusting. It really I wouldn't is. be surprised if I. I mean, he's got an injury. I I wouldn't be surprised if he really. I mean, will he be back before January? Could he have played his last game? Not entirely sure of his injury timeline, but I it just it just doesn't make sense for me if I'm to stay here. No, it, it really it really doesn't. And I think that's where we're going to wrap this up. Uh, there's not really much more to say on the matter. It's sick, it's disgusting. I'm glad Neil Bitten is And look at, the do- look at the dog's abuse Neil Bitten's got since coming out and de- defending. And he, oh, what's he come out? I mean, what is he come out? I mean, like, he's just come out and said these are sick. You see, and it, for celebrating and to, the ed- deaths to of educate yourselves. And they're still, they don't they fucking educate, man. They don't know what a fucking textbook is. Honestly, though, but that's where Fog Football is going to sign out here. Fog Football always delivers the truth. And until next time, peace.